Living Local Carolina with Katie Turner. Local trends, shopping, dining, and more. This is Living Local Carolina. This story is sponsored by Apricot Lane Boutique. Well, thanks so much for joining us today again on Living Local Carolina. Today, I'm having so much fun at Apricot Lane Boutique with Christina. How are you doing? I'm doing good, very good. All right, let's just get down to business here. Okay. What is Apricot Lane Boutique? What are you guys all about and why should people shop here? Apricot Lane Boutique is a women's boutique. We have apparel, um, accessories, and gifts, and fun. Lots, lots of, lots fun. of fun. Yeah. 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 Yes. So. Okay. So how long have you guys been open? We have been open since May 18th of this year. Oh so it, we're pretty brand new. Yeah. And we walked into this beautiful space, which was um, originally a bridal boutique. Oh, so okay. yeah, that, I mean, we walked into this and not much had to be done. So you're so right. Yeah. It's yeah. We were very lucky. Yeah. Well, it's gorgeous in here. You guys have it so nicely spaced out. So when you walk in, you just don't feel too overwhelmed yes, by things. Yes, yes. And that was our goal. We wanted mm -hmm. people to come in. We wanted to make sure that they're seeing things together, colors together, um, coordinating things on mannequins and being able to get a good idea of what our store has. Not too cramped. Lots of things just spaced around. Mm -hmm. So. And I know you love your customers. Yes, they we become do. like your friends. Yes, yes. Tell absolutely. me all about you know working with people, and you also have a loyalty program. Yes, yes. We are um, not many boutiques have loyalty programs, yeah. but we're very lucky that you sign up with our um, loyalty program. You earn points, and once you get to three hundred, you have fifteen dollars to spend anywhere here in the store on anything. That's so fantastic. yeah, yeah, and the points don't expire, and you just keep accumulating. So love it. Yeah. So definitely shop here if you're looking for something. Mm -hmm. But you guys have new things coming in almost daily. Yes, yes, we do. We get to go to market, and we space things out coming mm -hmm. in, so we're able to put something new on the floor every week. We're going to be getting spring things in right now, so um, we're ready to go for the springtime. And you guys love to support other small businesses, so you have pop-up shops coming in here all the time. Yes, we do. Um, one is uh, Permanent Jewelry, Link Me. Yes, and um, that's so much fun for moms and daughters to come in. And um, after they set up and you're waiting your turn, you can shop and um, we usually do sales. Um, one thing that we do is um, fashion cash. Fashion cash is when you spend a certain amount, you get a certain amount to spend another time. So $20, $10, so we do that also, which is a nice incentive to come in and shop. And y'all do sip and shops too, yes, right? Yes, yes. We um, definitely do sip and shops on um, Sundays from one to five. And you come in and just have a glass of um, wine or champagne and just do a little bit of shopping. It's fun for ladies to come in and do that. Um, and then we also um, are starting to do after hours shopping, Ooh. yes. Um, and then you can come in with uh, a group of ladies and we'll have um, little snacks and drinks and you can come in and shop with your friends and do an after hours where you have the whole store to yourself. Ooh, you'll feel like so. a VIP. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's what we really want to do is to make you feel really special and to encourage ladies to come in together and shop and have a fun experience and we also want you to come in and um, shop where you do life. You know, everyone is doing life here and we want to be your favorite boutique to do that with. Well, I know y'all are going to be my favorite boutique, especially here in North Myrtle Beach. If you're in the area, come by and check them out. Where, what is your address for people looking Our for address is 643 Main Street and we are in Shops on Main, um, a little complex right off of Main Street.
We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. This story is sponsored by Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents. Well, it is just a beautiful day here at Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents, and I'm joined by Kent. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness, there's so much to see here. But for people that have never been here before, what, what are you guys all about? Coastal. We're about yeah. experience. We're about color. We're about just joy, honestly. People that come into our store, it's 30,000 square feet of living room, dining room, bedroom, uh, mattresses, outdoor, mm -hmm. um, everything you could think of for the home. We have it here at Seaside. Truly top to bottom. Top to bottom. Lighting to rugs yeah. to lamps and everything in between. Absolutely. And, you know, and we have people here that are you know, their, their average is 30 years in the business. So they know what they're talking about and they're here to assist you and help you along the way. It's not a high pressure type store. It's a store that you come in and enjoy yourself and we're here to help you. All right, let's dive a little deeper. You guys have mattresses as well. Yes, we do. Talk to me about that. All right, we carry Sealy, which has three brands to it. We have the Sealy Posturepedic, uh, we have Tempurpedic, and we have Stearns and Foster. And then we brought on a new mattress company called Restonic, which is um, a line that's kind of a mid-size in terms of price point, and it's just okay. wonderfully comfortable as well. And so the Property Brothers are part of that group too. We know that. So, yeah. So yeah, we're excited about our mattress line. Yeah, and I know you guys have a lot of different price points in terms of everything that you carry here. So whether you're looking to spend a little bit more or save a little money, you guys have something for everyone. Yeah, you know, budget seems to be the ugly word, but it is right. part of the process. And if mm -hmm. you come in with an idea of what you want to spend, we can help you out for sure, because we carry everything, like you said, from low to high and from quality that's questionable all the way up to really excellent quality. We've got uh, Maven, which is a new group that we brought in for uh, dining room sets and, and bedroom sets. It's solid wood and you can pick any color that you want, any wood species that you want. Ooh. And it's just a very beautiful high line uh, of product that we carry. But again, upholstery, same deal. We have low to high and we carry it all. This story is sponsored by Seaside Furniture Gallery and Accents. Well, welcome back to Living Local Carolina. Today I'm joined in studio by Becky from the Champion Autism Network. Becky, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Tell me, how did you get involved with CAN in the first place? I created CAN. Okay. So um, I have a son who's high functioning on the spectrum. We relocated here from the South Jersey area 11 years ago and you know, there's all these wonderful organizations that support the person with autism, you know, therapies and speech and ABA, but there's nothing for the family. Mm -hmm. And so that's, we started in 2013 with our sensory friendly movies. Um, it, people came out to them and they were so excited to be somewhere where everybody got it and understood. They asked what else was there. So we took surveys and collected data and we started a training program for restaurants because that was the number one thing our parents mm -hmm. wanted to do. So we started to educate restaurants and then I was like, okay, if you're gonna, like I said, invite the autism world to come out and play, everybody needs to know how to treat them and what's going on. So the um, travel initiative started in 2016 and that's when we became a, a 501c3 and incorporated and we've just been kind of off and running ever since. You're really covering all the bases though, from the educational standpoint to actually just providing them something to do. But from your standpoint, what has it felt like being able to actually educate somebody that had no idea what autism was? How does that feel to you as a mom too? It's, uh, it's really wonderful and refreshing, you know, and it's not, it's not embraced by everybody or every business and that's okay, right? Um, we're just happy that most businesses and and people in the community feel it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And really, it's just, it's not rocket science. Generally speaking, you know, you just have to kind of lead with love and like in a restaurant or pretty much anywhere. If you have light switches and a volume control, you're halfway there in supporting people. Then it's just learning tips and tricks about, you know, uh, what to do, how to treat people, 
these autism families in your restaurants or your stores or at your resorts and you know what kind of support they might need and then what, what to look out for in case there's an, a runner or an eloper, how to handle mm -hmm. that situation. A little patience goes a long way too. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. Welcome back to Living Local Carolina. I'm Katie Turner and boy, do we have something going on in the studio today. I'm joined by Wade Johnson, the director of bands at Benedict College. How are you? I am fabulous, Ms. Turner. Thank you for having me. Shout out to all the Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina. How are you? Home of the B-C-B-O-D. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it now. Okay. You are quite the personality. You have so much experience when it comes to music. This is something that is truly a love for you. Yes, it is. Why? It's a passion because I really, I believe, um, getting started as a late bloomer, I actually believe that is a calling. And when I say my passion, my ministry, is what I was called to do because I wanted to do something else. I wanted to be a professional football player, of course. All, all men in small towns from McClellanville, South Carolina, wanted to be professional. Uh, athletes, mm -hmm. but anywho, due to an injury, uh, trying to play football, and whoop whoop, I saw the band. The band got in the game tree. The band were having a good time. They were eating, and I was like, I think I can do that. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I didn't have to pay to go in anymore ah. after I joined the band. <laughs> so all basically, right. that's how it all started. And from then, our um, our beloved uh, band director, Mr. Lionel Matthew Thomas. He came in somewhere around 72, and I was a senior at 74, so being hurt and wanted, wanted to get in the game street, he actually, I was one of the last people to join the band program at uh, Lincoln High School, shout out, Lincoln mm -hmm. High School, and I started, actually I started on trombone. Okay. And then eventually my one of my family members, uh, Drexel Ball, who had a trumpet, his mother bought him a trumpet where I was living at in the Clayville and Society Road. He had asthma, so he wouldn't play the trumpet. So what I started doing, I started going upstairs, got it up in case and experimented with it, and then aha moment. Mm. An aha moment happened. Mr. Thomas, I took it to him, and he said, you know what, I can teach you really how to do this. And the rest is history. The rest is history. Yes. yes. And you have so many memories over the years. So many memories over the years. Uh, music has, has, I've been blessed because music has not only taken me around the world with several experiences, I've had the experience to perform with some of the greats, namely mm -hmm. Dizzy Gillespie, namely James Brown, Fred Wesley and the new JBs, and every now and then Fred still calls me to perform really? with him. Yes, Fred, uh, if you look up Fred Wesley, Fred Wesley was, I have to say, one of the greatest, the greatest funk trombone player, but he was also a, a fabulous, Jazz trombone is also. Mm -hmm. Fred is still performing around the world. Now, yes. okay, we need to talk about a very specific way that you can perform that not everybody can do. You can actually play two instruments at the same time. Oh, yes, Frank Motley from Dizzy Gillespie's band. Um, the precursor was this, Joey Morant, the late Joey Morant from Charleston, South Carolina. He had a trumpet that had two bells on it, uh -huh. but one lead pipe. And when I saw him as a kid doing that, I was like, oh my God. I didn't know that was just one horn. Uh -huh. So moving forward to um, late, late 70s, early 80s, I got to meet Mr. Gillespie and saw his big band. Frank Motley was one of his trumpet players on his big band. Frank Motley actually did it with two trumpets. Uh -huh. And I lost my mind. Uh -huh. I walked up to him, Mr. Marley, oh, oh that, was, that was awesome, that was awesome. He said, son, you wanna learn how to do this? And I, I, I almost had a heart attack, but still, with Mr. Marley, I said, yes, sir. You know, small town, country boy, I said, that would be something great to learn how to do. So he sat me down, he told me the logistics behind it. And, and scientifically, guys, 
The only way to do this, there are about three of us in the country, in the world, that can do it. But you have to use both sides of your brain simultaneously. <laughs> Don't forget to like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. How to use the QR code. Just open the camera app on your smartphone, iPad, or tablet. Point your device at the QR code so the QR code appears on your screen. Your device will recognize the QR code and show you a notification. Click that notification and you'll come to our website. Living Local Carolina, weekday mornings at 9.30 on WBTW News 13.